So just to recap, ELK positive non-small cell lung cancer constitutes a rare subset of advanced non-small cell lung cancer. So usually approximately 3 to 5% of patients with um, lung adenocarcinomas might harbor this alteration. And like other oncogenes um, that are implicated in the development of, of non-small cell lung cancer, these seem to occur more commonly in never smokers. Uh, the current standard of care uh, in terms of first-line treatment options for patients with advanced ALK-positive lung cancer would include crizotinib, seritinib, and electinib. And what we have seen based on the ELTA-1L study, so this is the first-line phase three study of brigatinib versus crizotinib, um, we have seen that now brigatinib has entered um, the arena as a first-line option for patients with elk positive non-small cell lung cancer. So this study um, compared the use of brigatinib to the standard of that time, which was crizotinib, and demonstrated a benefit in progression-free survival. And based on these data, this is now an approved and reimbursed treatment option for, for these patients in the first-line setting. It will be a challenge for practitioners to be able to decide between these options in the first-line setting, but certainly very encouraging data for brigatinib and a very reasonable option in the first line.